Hello everyone. Welcome to Simplify Studies. Today we will learn about the four domains of the earth. Children, water, air, land and all living things make up the four main domains of the earth. A domain is a region that has its own special features. The earth can be divided into four main domains. The solid portion on which we live is the lithosphere. The layer of air that surrounds the earth and enables us to breathe is called the atmosphere. The area comprising of water on the surface of the earth is the hydrosphere. And the domain that has land, water and air along with all living and non-living things is called the biosphere. Now, let us learn about all these four domains one by one. The first one is lithosphere. The word lithosphere is derived from the Greek word lithos, which means stone or rock. It is the outermost solid and rigid part of the earth. Children, the earth has three layers, the crust, the mantle and the core. Now, let us learn about the first layer of the earth and that is the crust. The crust is the solid, outermost and the thinnest layer of the earth. The crust is made up of many kinds of rocks and the main element of the crust are silica, aluminium and magnesium. The outer crust has valuable soils and provides us with most of the minerals. Next layer is the mantle. The mantle is a very thick layer and is made up of dense and heavy materials such as oxygen, iron and magnesium. The temperature over here is very hot and hot rocks form magma in this layer. If cracks appear in the crust, the pressure is released and the molten matter from inside the earth tries to reach the surface through volcanic eruptions. Next comes the core. The core lies below the mantle and is around the center of the earth. The core is made up of heavy metals such as nickel and iron. The presence of heavy metals and iron is responsible for Earth's gravitational pull or Earth's magnetism. The outer layer of the core is in the molten state whereas the inner core is firm and solid due to very high pressure. Well, the lithosphere consists of various landforms such as mountains, plains, plateaus and deserts. The height of these landforms is measured from the sea level. The highest point of lithosphere is Mount Everest in Nepal. It has a height of 8,848 meters. The lithosphere has seven large land masses called continents. The seven continents are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe and Australia. Asia is the largest and most populated continent. There is no geographical boundary separating Asia and Europe. The two continents form a large landmass called Eurasia. Some of the countries in this continent are India, Japan, China, Pakistan, Iran and UAE. China has the world's largest population followed by India. Next, we have Africa which is second largest and second most populated continent in the world. 
It is the hottest continent and the world's largest desert, Sahara, is located here. South Africa, Egypt, Libya, Congo and Nigeria are some of the countries in this continent. Next, we have North America. North America is a continent which lies entirely in Northern Hemisphere. It is the third largest continent in the world by area and fourth largest continent in terms of population. Most of the area in this continent is covered by Canada and United States of America. Next comes South America. South America is the fourth largest continent in terms of size and fifth in terms of population. The largest rainforest in the world, the Amazon rainforest, is located in this continent. Some of the countries in this continent are Brazil, Argentina, Chile and Peru. Next comes the southernmost continent. Yes, it is Antarctica. The South Pole is located in this continent. It is the coldest continent in the world. It is completely covered with ice. But the best part is that you can see penguins here. Next comes Europe. Europe is the second smallest continent and ranks third in population. Countries like United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy and Switzerland are located in this continent. Next, we have the smallest of all the seven continents. Yes, you are correct. That is Australia. It is the least populated continent after Antarctica. The Australian continent consists of Australian mainland and some big islands such as New Zealand, Tasmania and New Guinea. Now let's move towards the second domain and that is hydrosphere. All the water on earth makes up the hydrosphere. It includes liquid water, ice and snow and water vapor. Children. When astronauts observe the earth from space, it looks like a tiny blue ball. This is because more than two-thirds of earth's surface is covered by water. It includes all the water bodies of the earth such as oceans, seas, lakes, ponds, rivers and streams. Well, as you all know, Oceans are huge bodies of salt water that covers almost two-thirds of Earth's surface. They constitute almost all the water on the Earth. There are five oceans on the Earth. They are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean and the Southern Ocean. Now, let us start with Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean lies between America in the east and Asia and Australia in the west. It is the biggest ocean on the earth and covers almost one third of the earth's surface. It is also the deepest ocean in the world. The Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest point on earth's surface. Next comes the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean is the world's second largest ocean. It covers around one-fourth of Earth's surface, which is slightly more than six times the size of USA. It extends from North and South America in the West to Eurasia and Africa in the East. Next comes our Indian Ocean. Children, do you know Indian Ocean is the only ocean which is named after a country? Yes, it is named after our country India. 
in ancient times india was an important location in indian ocean which connected europe with countries of southeast asia the indian ocean is the third largest ocean on the earth it extends from asia to antarctica and from africa to australia the indian ocean is connected with pacific ocean between australia and antarctica it is also connected to atlantic ocean through the swiss canal next comes the smallest and the shallowest ocean in the world can you guess the name yes it is arctic ocean Arctic Ocean is mostly snow covered and located near the North Pole. And which animal do you get to see here? Yes, polar bears. Arctic Ocean joins the Atlantic Ocean near Greenland and Iceland and it is also connected to the Pacific Ocean. Next comes the Southern Ocean or Antarctic Ocean. The Southern Ocean is the second smallest ocean in the world. The Southern Ocean comprises of the southern portion of the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans and the seas surrounding Antarctica. Now, let's move towards the third domain and that is atmosphere. Children, as you know, Air is present everywhere and is essential for all living things to survive on earth. Air forms a thick layer known as the atmosphere that covers the earth. The atmosphere is made up of many gases. Of these, nitrogen is the most followed by oxygen. Other gases, water vapor and carbon dioxide form a very small part of the atmosphere. The atmosphere blocks out the harmful rays of the sun and only lets in rays that are necessary for living things. Now, let us understand the fourth domain of the earth and that is biosphere. The biosphere is the part of earth's surface and atmosphere in which plants and animals can live. Living things from the smallest one that we cannot see to the big plants and animals have their own special type of environment in which they can live and grow. This is called their habitat. The earth has many many different kinds of habitats. The great variety of life on earth exists in these different habitats. So, the biosphere overlaps lithosphere, atmosphere and hydrosphere. Now, let us learn some amazing facts about these continents and oceans. So, I'll start first with Asia. The highest point that is Mount Everest in Nepal and the lowest point that is Dead Sea in Israel are both present in Asia. Now, the second interesting point comes from Africa. The world's largest, tallest and fastest animals come from Africa like African elephant, giraffe and cheetah. The third amazing fact comes from North America. The world's largest island that is Greenland is in this continent that is in North America. The next amazing fact comes from South America. The largest flying bird in the world can be found on this continent and the name of the bird is Andean condor. Children, I like to share one more amazing fact about South America. The first drug that was ever used to prevent and treat malaria Quinine can be obtained from the bark of a tree called chinchona. It is interesting to know that the tree grows only in South American country of Ecuador. 
Next amazing fact is from Antarctica. Antarctica is the world's largest cold desert. The next amazing fact about Antarctica is there is no permanent resident in this area. The only humans inhabiting this continent are scientists or uh, tourists or uh, explorers. The next amazing fact is uh, it comes from Europe. World's largest country which is Russia and wo world's smallest country which is the Vatican City are both located in Europe in this continent. The next fact comes from Australia. Two native Australian animals, Palatopus and Echidnus, are the only two mammals in the world that lay eggs to give birth. One more from Australia. 17 of the world's most poisonous snakes can be found in Australia. Now, let us see some amazing facts related to oceans. I'll first start with Pacific Ocean. Pacific means peaceful. But most of the volcanoes, actually 75% on earth, are located in Pacific Ocean. The volcanoes actually form a ring around the basin and therefore it is called the ring of fire. Many earthquakes happen in this area due to volcanic activity and then ocean plates move under the tectonic plates of these continents as well. Tsunami which causes terrible destruction when hitting the land happens specially in this area. Next comes Atlantic Ocean. In 1912, Titanic ship sank in Atlantic Ocean. Next, next is about Indian Ocean. Water in the Indian Ocean have one of the lowest oxygen content, which helps in evaporation of water. And as a result, we get precious rain. Next is about Arctic Ocean. It is partly covered by the sea ice throughout the year and almost completely in winter. So that's all for today. Have a good day.